Thank you. Okay, can you hear me well? Good. Yes. yes. Uh, so, first of all, thank you all for being here and listening to this. Also, thank you for Patrick for letting me be here and talk to you about this. Well, I would like to ask you how many of you are a bit sleepy, maybe lazy now that we have lunch before? <laughs> There's anyone that wants to? Because maybe we can do uh, some exercise before we start, so we limit the energy. No? Yes? What do you think? Yes? Well, I, I see someone saying yes, so... Let's go. Yes? Okay. So, stand up, guys. It's going to be really easy, okay? What we are going to do is just five jumps, okay? Yes. One, two, okay? So, we start. One, two, three, four, five. And we can do a little bit like that. And then we can sit down again. Okay, now it's better. Yes, yes, so we are a bit... Okay, so we are going to talk today about funnel hacking. We, well, I'm going to ask, how many of you knows what evergreen means? How many of you don't? Okay, how many of you know what is a PDF or product, product launch formula? Okay, not so many, no? And how many not? Cool. So you're going to learn new things today. Okay, just to know uh, what we are going to uh, see today, I'm not going to go really theoretical, theory, no, I'm not going to go to, through theory, I'm going to go more practical to show you all the things that we have applied in my agency for our clients. I brought here two case study, one of a Nevergreen seeds funnel and another one of a product launch formula funnel. <laughs> Sorry, because product launch formula is a difficult word for me, okay? I, I prefer to say PDF. You understand if I say PDF? Yeah. Okay, cool. So let's start. For those of you that you don't know what is a Nevergreen or a PDF, uh, the difference, the main difference among them is that the PDF has a sequence of four videos and each video has like a meaning in a sense that you start with the showing uh, the opportunity, then the transformation that the person is going to, to, to live and uh, also the, like the cycle, the method of the person that is going to allow the other person, the, the potential customer to, to, to get to the point that they want and finally with the sales sales video that could be live or not, depends. Uh, this is important to know, the structure, because there are a lot of people that say, ah, oh, yes, I did that PDF, but it wasn't a PDF, it was just four random videos. <laughs> this is a really um, a study structure. Well, Jeff Walker was the inventor, we can say, the author of this structure. So if you want, some, if you in the future want to launch this structure, just read all this, or you can ask me as well. <laughs> And also, for the, in the other side, you have the evergreen, which is a sales funnel, always on. If you have any commerce, you will know more or less uh, how it works. But in this case, um, we can say that we have different elements, like a trip wire, um, like a product with a price that is a small quantity. So it's not, for example, could be like 27 euros or maybe 7 euros or 2 euros, like a quantity that you don't have to, you don't need so many time to think about it, to buy it. And then you uh, use email and ads to increase the, the price of the product that you show the person. So the, 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 the amount, of tea, the total amount of tea that that person that started increase, increase, increase over time and you include more, more elements to this funnel. Okay, more or less, did you understand everything? Good, okay. So, well, First of all, let me present myself and um, well, my partner that is over there, Kino. Uh, well, <laughs> we are both founders of a Blue Bamboo Agency, which is our uh, agency in which we help other businesses to launch all these sales funnels, um, build it, um, think about the strategy and then implement it. Uh, we have worked with so many brands, well, <laughs> I can say that before I used to work in a consultant, big consultant company, so I had the opportunity to work with Santander, Iberia, and so many great brands that are well known. So, now we get to the good part, the, a deep dive to the evergreen part, to the case study. 
Let me present the case study first and then we will see all the things that we have implemented in terms of the funnel, the landings and the ads. So this is Pedro Gomez, <laughs> you, you maybe know him because he's here uh, also and is our client. Uh, he, well, when we met him the first time, he didn't have a really good presence uh, online because he didn't have neither sales funnel, neither a branding image, nothing, nothing. It was like completely disaster, you know? He's really good at sales, but the way he, he attracted clients, it was more this way, no? You get to know people more one-on-one -on -one and things like that. But we wanted to uh, boost the digital part. So it was a great, well, he had an idea of which kind of sales funnel he wanted because he also uh, saw it in, a, in an American guy that, well, in his funnel, we are all the time selling because, you know, he's a, he's a salesperson. So why don't we do a sales funnel that we are all the time selling? You will see now a bit further. And also uh, to build his professional image in social media and web because he didn't have any logo, any, any, <laughs> nothing. I mean, nothing, any colors, nothing, nothing. It was disaster. You will see as well. And the results were really good because it was a completely automated funnel that everything that we invest, we, uh, we, we get back the double. So it's amazing. It's like a machine money that you put some money and then you, you get more. And also, we can say that um, in the sector of sales and marketing, I don't know in, in Germany or in other countries how it works, but here in Spain, in Facebook ads, it's really saturated, so the cost is really high. But in this case, we achieve really low, low cost, even with the ads that we launched, that they're, well, they're really funny. Well, they're in Spanish, so maybe you don't understand anything, so that's why I didn't bring it. But uh, we, we, um, we were able to lower all the CPNs because the ads were so good and also the, 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 the cost per lead. Okay? Well, we'll see later, more in deep. So, uh, we will start with the communication strategy for us when we start with a client to, in order to for, well, later launch uh, the funnel. It's important to um, the first step, define the strategy that we develop, we will going to develop with them in the funnel. So in this case, uh, Pedro <laughs> is a quite funny guy because he, he has like a strong language, you know? When, when in the ads he says something like bullshit, like fuck, and like things like that, no? He was like really disrupted, also uh, funny, and also he had like the nerd vibe, you know? So we, we needed to know that in order to then uh, translate, well, put it in all the fun. So also the promise, well, what we, the people that um, get into the funnel, they will achieve that they will increase their sales because it's like the promise, like what the result that the potential user will be uh, um, acquired. And the problem, well, problem we can say, the, the person that we, we target were entrepreneurs, small businesses, that they wanted to improve their sales process or the, or the amount of sales. So, uh, uh, ah, and the good thing is that in this case, we decided to start the sales funnel with a really low ticket and then we get bigger, we will see now. So uh, this is the funnel, it looks really simple because you will see later the PDF is, is more complex, this is a, a really simple one. So we started with, uh, we directly um, um, send traffic to a landing where we, we was, uh, selling the first product, you know? We didn't have anything before, it was cold traffic, sending them to a first product to, uh, to sell. Then when they, they buy the first, well it was one euro product, so when they buy the first one, then they go to a second landing, that they have an upsell of a class, and if they don't buy the second uh, product, they have a, an email sequence. You have every email sequence in every step. If they buy this, this second product, then there are two choices. Once uh, they, they go to another upsell or they go to a downsell. So a, 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 more, a higher ticket or a lower ticket. And then if they buy one of those, then they go to a sales call. Okay. More or less, you understand? If you have any questions, don't hesitate to, to interrupt, okay? Uh, sorry. 
Yes. What is the average conversion rate between the first low ticket and then through the entire funnel? Okay. I don't remember right now the bet. I can I can put it in the presentation and then come back to you to tell you. Okay. But I, I don't have the, the numbers right now in my head. Okay, no but it was um I don't remember. I don't remember. But I'll I'll send it I'll send it up the words. Okay. So just to go deep, these were the landings. So as I mentioned, there was a ah one thing was that in the first one, it was this is was this is really good because in the first one we have the one euro product, but also they have the the um, a bump offer of nine euro. So we like upgrade well upgrade or uh, increase the amount that they can they can pay in the first touch point, and the well it's in percent of the users that came call traffic came to the to the landing they they click on the bump offer so it was really cool and well the process it was that first uh, landing page well we sell one product then we go to the another one with a 97 product then if they buy that one they go to another one of 197 and if they don't buy that one they go to one with 37 euros and if we, they buy the downsell or the 197, they go to sales call. And each landing has a video of Pedro saying, oh, you didn't buy or you did buy or whatever, like personalization in the message. Cool. Ah, and in the sales call, they, um, Pedro was the one that was selling a, a high ticket of a, of a mentoring of 1,500 euros. Okay. About the ads that we used, uh, well, we, we, we test a lot of varieties and let me tell you the main categories that we put the, the ads. The first, of all, the first one is a wanted, is a wanted category, well, that has a good performance with other clients, but in this case doesn't have a really good, because, well, you know that in, for some clients there are things that work and for others not. So we always try to test as many as possible the things that had performed good in the past, but uh, open to new varieties so we can see what, what, what better fits for this client. So the wanted uh, category, well, in Spanish, but well, it's just, we are uh, wanted, we are looking for an info product, a business, or a person, that, whatever. Then the second one was like the promise like the result that the person, well, or what we offer them, that we will, he will, he or she will achieve with the product. In this case, the one that better performed was this with the star, which, let me translate, uh, improve your result of your business with this, with, because we sold um, uh, an ebook, uh, well, for the for the objections. Then we have the if and then which means that in the, in the ads, we put like two situations. If you are whatever, 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 then whatever, whatever, whatever. Here we wanted to try if we um, put more text in the, in the ad, it has a better performance or a lower performance. Also one with an interaction button and other two with the, with the, cli the, the client picture. And from all of them, the better that works was the one with the star. Okay, in terms of cost. And we also had a video ads that these were, well, these had really, really good performance. I mean, uh, here we have the, the cost per, per sale, you know, uh, which in Spanish is coste por venta, that's why it's CPAV. But uh, as you can see, the ads has a really CTR, so the people were interacting. That's what allowed us to decrease CPMs in order to, well, so we could reach more people and then the costs were lower. And you can, and also these ads were sending cold traffic directly to buy an, a product on, of Pedro that he's not so known as maybe Alfonso Christian that they are also here uh, with us these days. And the good thing about this, it was that related with the communication strategy that he has like a disruptive, a strong language, you, you were 
um, like navigating in Instagram and you see one of his ads and everyone was sharing because he was saying like, hey, you don't know, I mean, your grandma knows how to sell better than you and you're like, what? So he threw the ads and his image and his, his way to communicate, he can connect better to people because we have discovered that with the humor, uh, we can uh, reach more people and get a more like a link between the, the Pedro and, and the potential, potential clients. So, um, um, moreover, the good thing about Evergreens uh, is that they allow us to um, include more elements, you know? I mean, we know what has um, worked good, uh, what we has do have done has worked well, but let us test more things. What happens if we, for example, include a lead magnet, a free lead magnet at the beginning in the funnel? We did this um, this month and it has a great impact because we launched the previous funnel on November, which worked really good, the, the results that I showed you before. But in December, we have a decrease on sales. So we, we said, okay, let's try other th different things. So we included this lead magnet, what in the end um, increases the sales again, but as, uh, also like uh, the cost of, of uh, <laughs> acquiring this lead magnet for free, uh, lowered a lot the, the, the other, um, the first product, because the first product is one euro, and we, you know, to, to attract like cost per lead was 160, so at uh, the moment they acquired this lead magnet, they instantly have the next offer of the one euro and like 90, 80% of the people buy it. So we decrease a lot the, the, um, the cost of acquiring this new client and we increase the amount of people buying the rest. Also, we, well, <laughs> next week we are going to try how uh, live webinar works with the current buyers and suppliers in order to buy the higher ticket, like 1,500. And well, I'll tell you how it works <laughs> because I don't have the results now. Uh, but well, you can imagine if you do, if there's a salesperson doing a webinar selling you, it's, <laughs> I mean, it, we have a, a um, there's a, a high chance that people buy products, you know? Cool. So, ah, this is the last part of the evergreen strategy. We are not just focusing on the sales funnel, which is important, but now it's also important to create a content strategy, like a position also in the market. So we work also the, the social media strategy, the brand image and everything in order to have consistency, coherence, and also those that didn't buy now, they could buy in the future if we are all the time there with the present, you know? Because they connect maybe with Pedro, but they say, no, I don't need that now, but maybe in the future we can hook them to another product. So, well, <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it was, before it was a chaos. I mean, he didn't post anything, just, well, if something happens in his life, one month, or maybe from year to year, and also uh, the biography, like the description of his project. I mean, Pedro is a really, really good closer, like a salesperson. He also worked with some of our clients in our agency, uh, closing sales. And it's really great person. I mean, great person and great professional. And we didn't see that reflected on her social media, on his social media, sorry. <laughs> so uh, what also, we didn't want it to, have like the typical image of a closer, I mean a salesperson, which maybe with a, a jacket or something, because he's not that style. But so we kind of like uh, um, fix it with that authority and professionality that he has, but also about his humor or his sense of humor, his way of, of, of transmitting and also the nerd vibe, because you can see some a lot of uh, things elements about superheroes. Cool. So just to summarize, we saw that uh, it has, well, now we have lead magnet ads, 
There are two up cells, one down cell, one and a bump offer at the beginner. We needed also four email automations with five emails each, which is simple. Six landing and one, one closure that is his. Yeah, I mean, it's better. And these were the results, okay? Uh, any questions so further? You like the case study? You hate it? <laughs> okay, cool. So let's get to the complex one, okay? This is PLIF, product launch formula. Uh, let me present first the, the case of the client, like the, the case study summary, which is, um, this is Arancha, one of our clients in the agency. She uh, has a strong brand image, <laughs> different is the opposite to Pedro. Uh, <laughs> and she, um, she has also a, a shop, a fashion shop, I mean with clothing. Uh, she has also for wedding, she designs all the dresses for wedding and she studied with the info product because well we know in the pandemic everything closed so you have to think of the ways to create like source of income no for your business so she decided to start with info products courses and programs but um, we saw that she has great potential I mean she has like well with her personal brand and her own, own shop. She, was, she worked like eight years. He has a lot of experience. And also in her case, she told us that um, she has studied fashion, but no one was teaching how to, to do business with your fashion, you no? Know? How to uh, manage your own shop. They only teach you how to design, but it's okay. You do great designs, but if no one knows or you don't know how to sell them or how to manage your own business, you won't, you won't be able to launch any product, no? If there are any, well, I think there are so many e-commerce here, you know what I mean. So, um, um, so what we decided, well, it was a, a, a product that she has, but we, de we designed a whole new strategy and whole new concept in order to launch her her product. So the results were really, really good. I mean, we achieved a ROAS of 21 in the first uh, product launch formula. Uh, her business revenue, well, income revenue, uh, we increased by 200%, yes. And also, she had current clients that we offer new products, so we achieved a uh, four uh, plus 500 revenue in her business, they say, wow, no? <laughs> I see so many eyes really, really open. <laughs> so you wanted to see deep or let me go or what do you want? <laughs> Should I tell you how? I can just take it and go back home and don't tell anything. So <laughs> okay. So let's start again with the communication strategy. For us, it's very important to understand like the the initial point, no? Because every client, every person is, um, is something different, no? So like the identity, the, 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 the way that they communicate, the people that they attract or they, 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 they get linked to. So in this case, um, uh, Arantxa has a really strong brand around the concept trust on you. She, uh, she, She's really focused on empowering women and not just doing fashion designs, but also like uh, self-development, like trust you. I mean, you're a great woman. You know how I, okay. <laughs> so uh, her, her promise was not just launching your own collection, but being like a business woman of your own line of clothing or jewelry or whatever because you can uh, launch any collection uh, you want in the fashion area but at the same time like believing in you because she had a lot of women in her community that they had a lot of um, uh, we can say they were afraid of so many things they didn't feel so well so she like put in, like boost all them and empower them to feel like the woman and the person, that, the businesswoman person that they can become, okay? And uh, also, what we, we saw a gap in the market, that there were a lot of people 
teaching others how to design clothes, but not how to build your own business. So, this is the funnel. <laughs> it's huge <laughs> compared to the other one. <laughs> you can see. Let me uh, divide it by phases so it's easier to understand, okay? So, um, there are three main phases in a PDF. One is the pre-launch, the other one is the launch, and the other one is post-launch, which is, this is like this sales part that you, you, you just, because when they launch in the, well, let me start in the beginning better. Okay, so in the pre-launch, we have all the traffic going to the registration page, okay, with the double opting, double opting. So we send traffic from Google Ads, from YouTube Ads, from Facebook Ads, Instagram, also creating content, everything. And we also uh, did a lot of lives on Instagram, like Arantxa did a lot of lives on Instagram, telling about what is what's going to happen. Well, uh, I didn't mention before, but we created a concept that it was like a uh, whoosh online fashion week. It was like a, mm, the, the, the sequence of the four videos, which is, was the launch, okay? Like first, second, third, and fourth, as I mentioned before. It was like um, a, a, a weekend, oh yeah, weekend, no, a week, a complete week, uh, related with all this concept, whoosh online fashion week. <laughs> Uh, the, and how we related what that concept with the video is that we have um, uh, like when you go to the cinema to a new movie so we do the same for each video I mean mm, it was like uh, in YouTube you can do it at the video it's like a, I don't remember the word but like you see it for the first time you know <laughs> what I mean so there was a countdown and then the video launched and everyone, everyone was over there seeing the, the first video like it was a movie. And how we boosted people seeing just when we, when we opened it is that Arancha was just uh, also answering some questions or it was also in the chat. So all the girls that they were seeing all the PDF, they were there just when we launched the first and the second and the third and the fourth video. We also have replay landings because if you couldn't have the chance to go to the first moment that we launched the first one, you could see the rest, I mean, see it later, but what we wanted is that they, they were in the live one, you know? And then, uh, as I mentioned before, this is the first video, replay, second video, replay, third video. Uh, we also launched a prior priority list what does mean is that um, a small quantity of people had the opportunity to go for a, I mean, to do the last video live, you know, with Arantxa. Because if you didn't register to that priority list, you will see the, the last video, but a recorded one. I mean, with good edition, it was like really like a movie. But um, in this case, you could be like, one-on-one -on, -one on Zoom with Arantxa, asking her, talking to her in, in that uh, last video, okay? And then we, we ended in the post-launch, which is the, because in the fourth video, we tell the offer, we tell the product, we tell everything, I mean, that we are selling, and afterwards, it's like all the selling part, okay? Like all the calls and everything. Uh, is it clear for you? <laughs> it's a bit complex, but if it's the first time also that you see, it could be like huge, you know? When I, see it, when I saw it for the first time, I, when, I, when I was with my, with my, with my colleagues, or well, my partner also designing all this structure, it was like, wow, <laughs> you know? Uh, but it works really, really good. Okay, so I divided also landings and ads for each phase. So you will see landings and ads that we use for each, each phase. So in the first one, the landings were really easy, you know? We have the re registration landing with a double opt-in because in Spain we have to use it that way. Uh, also, we have a Facebook group in which we have some challenges or things going through. And also we have, as I mentioned before, lives with the community in Instagram. She was like 
twice a week or three times a week, doing lives with the community, talking about the Rouge Online Fashion Week, what is going to happen in, in, the, in the date, you know, from the 21 and 28th of October. And well, this is really, I mean, this was also this October because we launched with her on March and in October of 2021. Okay, so these were the pre-launch ads that the image one that we used, we tried different um, different kinds of ads, we can say. Um, these were the videos that better work, but also uh, we have here, like for example, that one with two different copies, in which uh, we wanted to reflect like the mood of fashion, no? To like an image that you can see what what is being in the fashion sector, but didn't work so well. Another one with Arancha, also in the mood of fashion, of designing, of your own line, clothing line, but it didn't work well. It was a 3, 4 CPL that is not so bad, but it wasn't like the best. And also we tried native, a native format, I mean with the, with the type of, like, look and feel from Instagram, with only native, colors and can, you can see it well, yes, no? I mean, later I, can, I will send all these slides so, so you can see it deep. And also we tried this wanted category. I mean, as you saw before, with Pedro didn't work so well, but with, with Arancha worked really, really good. And then, um, well, the video were the ones that better performed. Um, a, a thing that I would like to highlight, I mean, you don't understand the copy, maybe, but uh, <laughs> Arancha was uh, had a great community, and uh, she was all the time selling to their community because she was influencer, but also she had a line of clothes and she had a lot of things she was selling. So in order to uh, tell, we tell the community that it wasn't like something free or, or that it was something different, in order to kind of like teach. Uh, the community of what we, are, what we were going to show. <laughs> in the copies we, were, we, was, we said that um, this was a paid ad. I mean, we were directly saying that person that we were going to sell something. We were completely transparent. It wasn't because some people with the PDF say, like, give a lot of content and then surprise, we're going to sell you something. But this wasn't the case. From the beginning we say, this is a a week in, in that we are going to show you everything and we are and also we provided a lot of value value content to the to I mean every everyone was really uh, thankful of all the content that we provide them but at the same time we were saying okay cool that uh, <laughs> I'll get faster that um, we were going to sell something also we have double opting land well I go further, we have YouTube ads also. Also remember, because if you uh, resist for something, and for example, three weeks before, you will forget about it. So we also invest in order to do the remember, you know, so they remember, they okay, okay, with a lot of uh, actions. Also the lunch part, with the different videos. Also for the last video, they have also if they see this video, they will they can book directly the sales call with the and the good thing. Well, the different part of this is that we open a selection process because we didn't allow no one to to buy without uh, uh, without uh, talking with the salesperson. So you cannot buy anything without going through the call. Also, well, the were the ads. And uh, the landings of the post launch, the sales part. Ah, one important thing is that it's important that the, the people, that the potential clients, see the last video. Because uh, <laughs> we have to treat well our closers and we don't just send them potential leads that they don't know what, they, what we are going to sell them or what, we're, what we are offering. So they have to see first the last video in order to know the process, the product, the price and everything. And then if they are qualified, they go to a sales call. Cool. These were the, the ads that Better, better Performance has. This was really, really good because it shows like real 
results like we from 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 students of the of the of the of the ah <laughs> for the training of the course so it, it was it had a really really good performance we we show all the process, all the transformation, all the things that they have done, that they created their own business with the training, and people liked it a lot. Same YouTube ads. And also the social media strategy, it was really good because uh, what we try to do is to be all the time, like people know, we're thinking all the time about the Ocean Life Fashion Week and when we open about our, our training or our program. No? So, but we didn't want to show like the same things like a copy paste in social media we didn't want that like offer new product launch no what we did in this case uh it was like creating different types of content that they sell you but without selling you know what i mean so this was like 50 questions about the the academy that arancha was going to answer so in that way, it has well, really good interaction in common. Uh, so we, need, we could knew the, the objections that people have or the questions so we can tell also to the copywriter or maybe send one email or whatever. So we, we get closer to the community, they can tell us information, so we, we are a step closer to know what is, which is the barrier in order to, to buy for, for the buyers. You know? Uh, so in order to summarize, we had some ads for, well, we have ads for the registration, uh, remember, sales, one absent, one downsell, bonus, 15 emails per launch, 16 emails uh, during launch, 16 emails post launch, 11 landings with many changes because, well, and one closure, which in this case was Pedro, and these were the results. So let me finish fast with this. Uh, here I like main difference between one another. I just go directly to main points. Risk in the evergreen is lower than in the PDF because PDF is a launch that needs a lot of effort. It's just that time. And there are so many people in the Spanish market that they <laughs> really, uh, their launches weren't, went so bad that they, they, well, it was a disaster. So, uh, because there are some, in the case of the PDF, the context of the market has a direct impact on the result. And there are some things that you cannot predict. But in the evergreen, you can say, okay, if it's going worse, I can, down, I can get down with the, with the budget, or if it's going better, I can go, uh, I can invest more money, no? But also, this PDF, as it's like one time, you cannot buy any time the program, it has a lot of scarcity. So people, they're really like, tr they wanted to buy. I mean, when we launched this um, last launch with, with it, there are a lot of people writing in social media, email, oh, I want this, I want this, I, I, when are you going to open? And they couldn't buy it before or after the opening. I mean, there were just seven days to buy that product and then you cannot uh, buy it until we open again, but we don't know when we are going to open. So there's a great high scarcity. And well, this is also has a great effort. I mean, you know, you have seen the complexity of that funnel, which is way higher than the evergreen. So it's just a lot of a high amount of work, but with a really high return. Well, in some cases, in our case, it was a really high return on investment, but in some cases not. But if you do it well, you will receive a lot of, like a punctual high income in your business, no? And then the evergreen was, well, you, ha you can do more testing because you can do it through time. In this case, well, we try to do as many tests as possible, but you have a fixed time that you can try and do everything. But in evergreen, you can adjust and do and add new elements to the funnel. Also, the scarcity is really low because you can buy it anytime. So it's, it's the opposite. And it's more stable and more predictable income, you know? You can adjust and everything. So, that's it. If you have any questions, I'm glad to hear. Okay, yes. yes. I have a question. Um, how much budget do you use in the PLS, pre-launch and launch bus? 
Can you say that? In the PF, how many? In the pre launch and in the launch rush, how many ad spend do you have? Okay, it was 70%, 80-70% in the pre launch. Uh, and we, in the first one, we invested 3,000, and in the second one, we invested like 15,000 okay. euros. But yes, like the great effort is just because we want to not just warm traffic, because, well, but call traffic, like attract a lot of people. And then the retargeting is a small quantity of investment. Yes, thank you. Right. Any other questions? Yes? Do you normally um, start with a Jewish product launch and then shift into an evergreen strategy with the same product? Okay, good question. Uh, we, when we start with any client, we don't, start, we don't have like a fixed way of working. What we do is just understand the, the situation of the client. And also because a PDF with Arancha, we needed a lot of her time in order to do the videos, in order to do the ads, in order to do the lives. So also there's a, um, a good question at the beginning of how many time do you have to do all this ever or not? Because in some cases we also launch webinars that they are not so complex and they don't need so much amount of time. And in the case of, oh, and for the clients, what, they, what we do is like have a first session with them in order to know all the products they have, all the data they have, the historical data, and see which kind of launch or sales funnel better fits for the product and for the way they are, you know? So the good thing, well, what we are, going, what we are doing also with Aranta is that we don't want to like put all the money in just like one time. So we are also at the same time in, par in parallel, um, um, in a parallel way, uh, developing also other products that they are evergreen or doing little launches. So we are all the time um, putting some income in the business that then you can reinvest. So in, in, in our case, we, we do it like we personalize to the, the client that comes. Cool. Any other questions that you have? I have a question uh, for the first one, the, the PLF. Okay. Uh, what kind of uh, research did you do for the, for the message that you were using? Okay. Or did, it, did that information come from oh. the... Um, well, I'll, I'll go to the, to, the, to the last because it's like... Okay, what kind of um, information do we look is... Um, well, there are like um, some key points in that we go deep. Like first, on it, understand the market. Uh, then the other point is to understand the product. Second, to understand the the info product person, like the way they communicate, the people they attract, and also the avatar, the ideal client. You know, like those areas. And what we do is like uh, having uh, when we start. Uh, working with our clients at the beginning we have some sessions in order to know better like what they can offer the, these potential these ideal clients how we can uh, we can offer how the market is offering because we don't want to be a copy paste of what is doing the market we want to be disruptive and different so we in order to summarize <laughs> we get a deep dive into those four areas the market the client, the, 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 this, the info product uh, message that they have, the ideal client, and also the, um, well, I mentioned another one, but I don't remember. <laughs> but yes, we go deep dive with a lot of sessions, also with a lot of research, in order to have the big picture, and then we develop the rest. Okay? Thank you. Did I answer your question? Okay, cool. Any other questions? So far? Is okay? Did you like it? Yes. yes? <laughs> Thank you.